It's gonna be a fruit filled Pop Tarts. Popped fruits. Today, I have fruits. Four fruits. Four of them. That's a lot of fruits. Is that the most pop? That's the most pop tarts I've done in a whole, in a video. Maybe let's make it snappy. Snap, snap, snap. Story time. The fruit pop tarts, of which I have, I have three out of four of them. I have peach cobbler. I have lemon cream pie. I have tropical mango. These are three of the four of the this set of pop tarts. I believe there is also a banana cream pie one, which I will not be reviewing for two reasons. One, because I've never seen it in the wild. I believe because it only came out in like Walmart, and I don't go to Walmart. Um, and two, because I don't, because artificial banana is one of the most horrific flavors known to man. To compensate for that, I'm also looking at, and this is, as I understand, wow, that is a, okay. this is, as I understand it, a separate new Pop-Tart. I saw this just today, um, the frosted apple fritter, which seems thematically appropriate if technically in this different line. Now, before we go into that, um, I the props to my mother and sister for procuring these for me um, and sending them to me for my birthday in a scheme which was both kind and also giving me work to do, which seems mean. And also when they sent them to me, they were already opened and had Pop-Tarts taken out of them and been resealed, which is rude. If you're watching this, rude. But still, thank you. Um, I would not have been able to get all these otherwise. Oh, I saw a few of them, a few, few of them. Um, wow, these are really, this is a really bad, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, let's, let's open, let's open some Pop-Tarts, and by open I mean eat, it's more of a taste test. Listen, the unboxing element has always been tenuous here, but it's kind of fallen apart entirely now that all the Pop-Tart boxes are the same, it's the same back, there's no stupid comics to make fun of anymore. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna taste these suckers and see how they taste, hopefully good, hopefully. Now first of all, I do want to acknowledge, as far as the boxes go, so, we have lemon cream pie. I'll show them all off. Lemon cream pie. Um, we have tropical mango. This one, for some reason, has says Nuevo instead of New. I'm not sure why. I don't. I don't actually know where these were purchased on account of them being gifts. Um, and peach cobbler. And then the frosted apple fritter, which is the new one, the newest one today. I want. I do want to briefly talk about this because the the print on quality on the, okay, so the Frosted Apple Fritter actually is a slightly different package. So instead of the, let's compare. So instead of the back of the Pop-Tart, instead of having this little thing where it says you can, you know, eat Pop-Tarts in different ways, we have another, we just have a copy of the front and um, the sides are, oh no, the sides are the same. Um, I just had it mixed up because it's the same front and back. Um, but most notably to me is that the 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 resolution on these images is horrible. Like you can see just the artifacting on this apple fritter and on this pop tart is so bad compared to the not exactly great image quality, but comparatively much sharper images on peach cobbler and the rest. I don't know why this is. I, this is coming at the end of uh, a strike, so I don't know if where where the maybe there was graphic design Kellogg scabs. Who knows? Anyway, hopefully that doesn't affect the quality of the pastries themselves. Let's go ahead and let's adjust my camera just so and open them up. We'll do the apple cobbler apple fritter last since it's really the the odd one out here. So first off, we have peach cobbler. Now, as I mentioned before, these are technically opened, but I've not tasted any of them. 
Um, so I have no idea what these taste like, which is, so really we're talking a taste test more so than anything else. Um, so peach cobbler we have here. Um, it looks pretty much like it does on the package. So that's a good, a good start. Got that. Really, I, I am somewhat um, put off by the little brown crumb, the brown like sprinkles. They are very, not really, very, very appealing looking. I guess they're probably supposed to look like, um, look like, like the crust of like a cobbler, but they don't really, they don't really sate my appetite. Lemon cream pie has a similar thing going on. So this is ideally should look much the same, but with yellow frosting instead of the, the orange pink. Oh God, it's hard to open for some reason. Yeah, we have a similar similar situation. Same, same brown sprinkles, but with different frosting. This one's more poorly frosted, but that's just luck of the draw um, in my Pop-Tarts experience. Tropical Mango has a different design, much less frosting just has a swirl of it instead of the full frosting coverage. I'm a much bigger, I like the Pop-Tarts frosting in general, so I'm generally a fan of the heavier frosting than this like swirl approach that some Pop-Tarts do, but you know, the, ultimately the filling is more important. Um, yeah, this one looks basically as advertised as a Pop-Tart with a simple swirl of yellow. And then finally, actually opening a new one, the apple fritter. To actually open this one. Oh, now I've got some pop tart smell. I don't have a. It's not a specific smell like I've. I know some other pop tarts before. I've had very distinct odors. I'm just having a general pop tart smell from these open pop tarts. It is kind of nostalgic. I haven't had pop tarts in a hot minute. Um, and again, we have the the smaller icing coverage, although. I will say the box implies more icing than this. So it's not quite living up to the box, um, but it's, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's still not a full icing, full frosting, but decent. Um, so visually, you know, they're fine, but no one cares about the visuals of a pop. I mean, it's kind of, the visuals of the pop tart are perhaps the least important facet. Let's see how these suckers taste toasted up. Since um, my toaster only has two slots and to make sure that all the Pop-Tarts have a good opportunity to, to really show off their individual flavors while warm, I'll be toasting them two at a time and trying them two at a, just them two at a, I've been trying them two at a time. Um, they're toasting now. They're toasting now. Don't be too loud. You'll scare them out of the toaster. Um, so I've done, I've toasted up the lemon cream pie and peach cobbler Pop-Tarts. Um, as you can see, they're nice and whoop, nice and brown. Um, the um, they're toasted well. Let's uh, let's try them out. Um, try lemon cream pie first. We got very yellow, very yellow um, inside, very lemon flavor. Um, a very lemony smell comes out basically the moment that that I've cracked open the thing. So um, probably gonna taste like lemon. Um, have I had a lemon pop tart before? Didn't I do a pink lemonade? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, that's tasty actually. Okay. So yeah, this is actually really good. This um. It very much hits that lemon flavor, um, which works well with the pop tart. Um, surprisingly, I don't know lemon. Usually, I usually think of lemon as, as cold. I mean, lemon cream pie. I usually think of as cold, especially, but it does have that lemon flavor, and it has a good cream flavor too. Um, separating it from just like a lemon pop tart, it actually does hit the lemon cream pie notes very well. It's a tasty pop tart. You know, do with this as you will. I know this is coming from someone who likes fruity pop tarts a lot generally, so you know, do with this as you will. Next, we have peach cobbler. I'm excited for this one, if I'm honest. I really like me a peach flavor. 
um, very orange inside. Um, ooh, that is a peach smelling, that is a, that is a peach oatmeal ass smelling ass Pop-Tart. That's not bad. Hmm. I'm not mad about that. So that's not quite as good, unfortunately. Um, which is a shame because I do really like peach. Um, the peach cobbler has a more subdued flavor, which maybe is for the best. Um, it does kind of taste like if it was too much worse, it would, or too much heavier, it would, it would have a pretty unpleasant aftertaste. Um, has that sort of feel to it, but it's not bad. Um, honestly, so far, so good as far as our um, bakery dessert Pop-Tarts go, like lemon, peach, that's, that's good. I'm going to eat them both at the same time. I'm not going to do that. That would be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let's toast up our other two. Why is my camera turned off? Okay. Next up, and finally for this video, we have Tropical Mango and Apple Fritter, which coincidentally is the one I'm least excited about and the one I'm most excited about, even though Apple Fritter is technically not one of the original set. Um, I am a sucker for an apple, <laughs> especially an apple pie type flavor. Um, so my first impression is that I toasted these suckers up, um, as you can see here. I won't hold them to too hot on my hands. Um, and the apple is already very, very, uh, I can smell it really well. So that's exciting. Um, we'll see. It might be overpowering. We'll see. Um, so first off, tropical mango. Um, this one's really going to live or die on its, uh, filling, especially because of the lack of, um, fruit, uh, icing. What's this supposed to look like? Ooh, that is a mango smell. Very mango smell inside there. Um, let's give it a taste. Hmm. Bad. Not bad at all. Again, I feel like it hits that, that fruit flavor surprisingly well. It's certainly a more, because of the lack of icing, it's a more crusty Pop-Tart, so, um, there's that as like a asterisk if you really don't like Pop-Tart crust so much, but, um, the actual fruit tastes, I mean, it tastes like essentially sweetened, like, mango. It's not bad at all. Yeah, it's kind of good. Um, so, you know, three for three, actually. This is pretty good. Next and finally, we have Frosted Apple Fritter. It's a bonus one that turned up today. That is a, that is a very, a very pale inside. Um, so what's it supposed to look like? I guess it's basically what's on the package. Um, Hmm. That's, that's pretty good. That's not bad. I wish it was more apple-y. It almost has a more generic sweet taste. I wish it had a little more apple to it. Um, the apple flavoring is kind of more subdued than I would have hoped. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe that, I mean, it depends on how much you love apple, I guess. Um, it almost has, it almost reminds me of like a brown sugar cinnamon pop tart with like a, a touch of apple. Which, hey, I mean, if that's what you're into, that's what you're into. Not bad, though. 
All in all, it turns out, it, based on these at least, Pop-Tarts, pretty good at making Pop-Tarts based on desserts. Sometimes, I guess not always, but specifically on pastry desserts, <laughs> it seems like Pop-Tarts is doing a good job. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with these, um, which is which is a nice, nice after um, quite a few, quite a few swing, uh, misses. But um, yeah, so thank you very much to anyone watching and thank you to um, Mom and Alyssa for sending me three out of four of these Pop-Tarts. The other ones, this is just for you. The other ones that you sent me, I will not be reviewing on this show because um, I've already tasted them prior to this because it's just, it's pumpkin pie and chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm not 100% certain I've tasted chocolate chip cookie 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 dough. I don't think it's a special flavor or anything, so I don't, it's really gotta be, gotta be special to be on this show. And I do have some more special ones that I picked up with apple fritter here, so forward to that, I suppose.